Hi everyone, welcome to the series of problem solving through C programming. I am Varun and today we would like to discuss primarily on some required terminologies that is variables and data types which are essentially required for the variable declaration in order to discuss on the formatted function available for console input operation available in C language. Let's recall, in the last session we disclosed the three essential functions of computer program from which we have discussed the writing function which is successfully performed by the printf function in order to show the output on the monitor. That was the basic introduction to the printf function. The advancements as per the program requirements are discussed as and when required. Now our next approach is to get familiar with how to read the data from the keyboard. That is we are now focusing on reading function. Let's understand the concept initially. As we know, when we enter some data from keyboard, then obviously that data would go into store in memory. But how do the program know that at which memory location the data is stored? As there are so many memory locations are present in the processing unit that are allocated by the compiler. And also, if program didn't know the memory location at where the data is stored, then it is also impossible to use that inputted data or to manipulate that data. So, for the solution of this problem, let me introduce the concept of variable in programming languages. So, what are variables? The meaningful name given to the data storage or memory location in computer memory. Or, we can also say that variable is the memory location with some distinct address in perspective of compiler to machine language. So, from both the definitions, you can get the solution to the problem that we have found while conceptual discussion. Now, everyone have a question that giving meaningful name means any name. Yes, it's totally fine to say we can give any name to variable as per our choice. But there are some rules which needs to be followed while choosing or giving the variable names. The rules are a variable name can be any combination of alphabets, digits or underscore. Second is, the first character in variable must be an alphabet. Commas or blank spaces are not allowed within a variable name. Special characters except underscore cannot be used in variable name. Now, let's have some example which would clear these rules completely by looking at some valid variable names as well as some invalid variable names. These are some valid variable names which are showing over here. Stress, turning, underscore, force, specific weight, specific, underscore, volume, material 1, C33M, poison, underscore, ratio. So, these are the valid variable names. Now, have a look on invalid variable names and why they are invalid. First is the specific gravity. As per the rule, blank space is not allowed. So, this is an invalid variable name. Specific heat, there is a use of special character that is hyphen that is also not allowed. Poison's ratio, use of special character apostrophe that is also not allowed. First material, first character. As we know, first character must be a letter, so this is also invalid case. Keywords are not allowed. That we will discuss later on, that what those things are mean. But still, keywords are those which are the defined vocabulary of C language, which are already defined in the compiler, that what does these words mean. Then material comma name, comma is not allowed. So these are the list of some invalid variable names. Now, a small exercise for you people, pause the video and try to figure out which variable names are valid and which are not valid. If not, then why they are not valid? The solution is this. You can match your responses. Now, ask yourself a question that what sort of meaningful names that we are going to get from the keyboard or you can also think that what sort of data is going to get placed in a named memory location that is also known as variable. Those are like integers. The example of integers are here. Minus 3, minus 1, 0, 23, 55, any integer. Then we get the input of rational numbers. 
that are decimal numbers you can also say that then we have characters a b c d at the rate percentage any of the characters then we have sentences like welcome to my channel mackey insight and anything else like your name which contains a group of characters those are the sentences or the words which should be inputted by the user all these are possible inputs that we discussed but think how a program can understand whether the inputted stream is a number or letter as the information comes in a bit string so there may be a scope of confusion while communication between compiler and machine so for this reason we people have also need to specify that what sort of data is going to take into the named memory location or you can also say variable this will allow us to introduce a new term into the course that is the variable declaration it is simply defined as the declaration of the variable but important is what does this will do first thing that this thing do is it tells the compiler what the variable name is second is it specifies what type of data the variable will hold now of course we have some questions that how to declare the variable or where to declare the variable let's start with how to declare as we know we have to pass the instruction or statement which is understandable by compiler in order to execute the program flawlessly let's have a look on syntax this is the syntax for variable declaration initially you have to give the data type then space then you have to give the variable name and we also know that we need to recall that every instruction or statement in the c program ends with a semicolon so following that particular statement we end this instruction with a semicolon as we have already studied about the variable name but now here the new term comes that is data type this is the term which specifies the type of data we are getting inputted into the variable we have availability of five fundamental data types namely integer the keyword for using this particular data type is int in lower case the use is for the input of integer values then next is the floating point the keyword for using this particular data type is float the use is rational numbers with five decimal digit precision the next is double precision floating point keyword is double in lower case and the use is rational numbers with 15 decimal digit precision next is character keyword is char c h a r in a lower case used for characters and sentences then the last is void that key keyword for this particular data type is void in lower case this we will discuss later that what sort of use for this data type has been in the c language so now we can able to complete the syntax of variable declaration again recalling the syntax of variable declaration data type space variable name here at the place of data type here you have to give the keyword for desired data types that we have discussed in the previous slide that for integer that keyword is int for floating point that keyword is float for double precision floating point the keyword is double let's have an example to understand the syntax more clearly suppose if we would like to read an integer values by choosing any variable name the declaration statement could be int i'm asking about reading we want to read an integer value so the declaration statement could be a int space first underscore integer then semicolon this could be the declaration statement where first integer first underscore integer is a variable name and int is a keyword for that particular data type then int turning force where turning force is the variable name int is the keyword for the data type volume is the variable name and int is the keyword for data type similarly if we like to read the rational values you can choose any variable names for example 
I have choose these variable names. The declaration statement could be float space specific underscore volume. Specific underscore volume is the variable name. Float is the keyword for floating point data type. Then this particular statement ends up with a semicolon. Double space experimental error semicolon where experimental error is the variable name where double is the keyword for double precision floating point. Now the next question is where to declare in the structure of C program. Let's recall the structure of C program as we have already discussed some of the sections in this structure and some are left. Now the global declaration section or local declaration section are the sections where the variable declaration has to be done in any of them. For a while we would consider the global declaration section as the section for variable declaration. So you would get an answer to the question for where to declare the variable. The variable declaration should be done at either global declaration section or anywhere in the main function but make sure that it should be declared before its use. Now let's have a look on formatted input function available in C language. Formatted input function that is available in C language is scanner. This function is defined in the stdio.h header file and is used to take inputs from the console window. Syntax for that particular formatted input function is scanf parenthesis start then double quotes then you have to write here the control string then double quotes close comma then you have to pass the arguments over here. Basically the control string specifies the field format in which the data is to be entered and the arguments argument 1, 2 up to argument n specify the address of locations where the data is stored. Let's understand this. Now we have how to write the control string. The solution for that or the format for that is within the double quotes that is in the syntax of scanf within the double quotes starting with a percent character then you have to give the type specifier. Now you are thinking what these type specifier are? These are the specifiers which are specifying your data type. That what's, what sort of data is going to enter into this particular scanf statement. As we know we have encountered this sort of data types in the in our keyboard inputs. So the data type is integer and the type specifier for that particular data type is D for float that is F for character that is C for string. String means the group of characters or the group of words that is basically known as string in the C language. For taking input of the string or sentence you have to use the S. These all type specifiers are in the lower case. So please remember the language is case sensitive. You have to take care of this particular thing. Now the next thing is arguments. Now how to write the arguments? Each variable name must be preceded by an ampersand because the arguments are actually the pointers which indicate where the data items are stored in the computer memory. Basically you have to give the variable name in which you want to store that particular input by putting the ampersand character in front of the variable name. That is basically depicting the address of that particular variable name or the address of that memory location wherever input is going to store. Let's have an example to understand the syntax more clearly. Example is write the scanf statements for the these particular declared variables. On the left hand side you are looking at the variable declaration section where we, I am declared the variable int number. That means we would like to take the input of integer. Then the scanf statement is scanf within the parenthesis double quote start the control string is percent starts with percent and then you have to give the type specifier for integer we have type specifier d then you have to put here the d percent d double quotes closed then comma then after that you have to use the ampersand then the variable name then parenthesis close then 
semicolon. This would end up the scanf statement for or taking input into the, this particular variable. Next declared variable is float specific underscore gravity semicolon. Then we have scanf statement is scanf within the parenthesis within the double quotes you have to write the control string percent then you have to give the type specifier for float for float data type that is f then the double quotes close comma using m percent and then the variable name that is specific underscore gravity let's see one one more variable declared variable that is of character type character data type that variable dec declared through care response then semicolon scanf within the parenthesis double quote start you have to mention here the control string that is percent %c for the character type data type then double quotes close then comma then you have to mark the or put the place the m percent character then the variable name that is response over here now let's have a look on an exercise write a c program to take the input from console output by using scanf function and analyze the output here you can pause the video and you can try out by your own initially then we can see my write it program is firstly i place some comments in my documentation section where i am putting the program name author and the output of the program then we have preprocessor directives then in the global declaration section which is just above the main function where I should declare the variable that is turning force of what type of data type of integer type data type where I can declare the variable of integer data type then the main function start within the curly brackets I only put the scanf statement the scanf statement for this particular integer data type variable is scanf within the double quotes you have to put the control string that is percent then the type specifier that is d for the integer type of data type then double quotes close then comma then using the m percent then the variable name that is turning force then parenthesis close semicolon and then the curly brackets close output for that particular program is this analyze the output of program and we will discuss this in our next session Thank you for watching. For more videos, do subscribe my channel, Mackie Insight.